Hello everyone, Daniel Kerr here. I'm going to show you how to get uh, audio directly from Chrome into your Ableton Live device. Um, I loaded Ableton Live Lite because I wanted to be able to do tutorials on the Akai Forest. It comes bundled with lights and I wanted people to be able to use the knowledge even if they didn't have a full version of Ableton Live. So I installed Lite alongside my suite. And uh, first thing I noticed is that I couldn't drag uh, videos in there. It doesn't have video support. So I had to figure this out and I thought of an idea and it worked the first time. Okay. In the old video uh, that I uploaded recently, I showed you how to put the audio from Ableton Live into OBS. And again, we're going to use OBS <coughs> and the Restream plugin, right? So what we want to do is over here in Ableton, we're going to go ahead and get rid of most of my tracks here. And this is the channel here that we're going to want to put um, Ableton Live, uh, excuse me, that, uh, that we're going to have to, we want to record from Chrome into. You know, we're going to use YouTube as an example. Okay. Now in audio effects here, um, excuse me, in plugins, <clears throat> you can go to the link in the description and go to the Reaper website and grab the Rhea plugs um, collection, which is a very, very, very powerful collection and I use it all the time. But one of the things they have is a streaming plugin. So I'm going to drop that into the channel. Now, uh, when we were putting the audio from Ableton into OBS, we had this on the master channel and we had it set to send audio in MIDI, but this time we're going to have it receiving audio, no MIDI, but nonetheless, it's going to receive some audio in OBS, right? I'm going to move this over here so you can see it past my face. Uh, in your desktop audio or the main audio channel, you want to hit these three dots and you want to go to filters. And then down here in the corner, you want to add a VST plugin. Okay. We don't need to name it. You can, and you can set it up as your default, however you want to do it. What we're going to do this time is instead of receiving audio, Let's click this box so it opens the interface. We'll scroll down in my VSTs and we'll find the Restream plugin. Where are you with, son? Oh, there it is. And uh, this time, instead of receiving audio, we're going to send audio in MIDI. And we're going to broadcast this piece to the local broadcast, which is just my computer. Okay? So let me shut all this down. Let me show you what happens. Okay, let's go to YouTube. I've got a funk drummer loop going, and if I click it. Okay, now here's a couple of things. First off, as you can hear, that uh, the audio is really hot. Okay, you can see that Ableton is getting the audio, but there's some doubling in there. You got to kind of dial it in. So, what we're going to do is go to audio effects and drop a limiter pass to this so it's not so hot okay turn it all the way down it still doesn't completely kill the the audio i don't know why but we're gonna we're gonna limit it pretty heavily okay now in lives preferences which is control comma or you can use the drop down menus over here but we're gonna set up our hardware configuration i've got it set to 256 samples you can kind of dial it in and you can hear, especially with a drum loop, just exactly how you want to get it to reduce the doubling as much as possible. That's pretty good for me. Okay, now here's the thing. You can see the audio coming through, but as soon as I hit record, it goes away. It's still streaming. You can see it streaming through the plugin, but it, it's not recording, okay? Now I can reduce this doubling completely, by the way, by just turning off the monitor here, but then it, it still won't record. So it doesn't make any difference. So how to get this audio is I'm going to hit control T to get another channel. And from this channel here, I'll turn this uh, monitor off and I'll arm it for recording. Okay. And over here, I, there's a number of ways I can get the audio from channel one. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. I think to reduce the, the doubling the most amount, I want to go over here and send audio to here. That's where I've gotten the best um, results. So as you can see, it's monitoring. Let's uh, grab some audio. You can see it. 
you can tell by looking at the wave that it's not that flubby. The, the doubling is not that much of an issue. If it's uh, things like sound effects and things like um, vocal samples and snips like that, it's a lot cleaner than if it's a full on just a drum break rhythmic material. So let's um, get this guy stopped. Let's go back to Chrome and stop that audio. And let's go here and let's just turn on monitoring and listen to what it sounds like. Aha. Now, again, we can raise the volume. There is a little bit of doubling, a little bit of flam, but honestly, dialing in the, the, the settings, it's really helped. And it's a pretty clean break, right? Again, material of another nature, even better, right? Anyway, go to the link in the description and uh, grab some free samples. Um, you can go to Ghost Written Clips and uh, you can sign up for my email list and you will immediately get a pack of free samples. Love you guys. Merry Christmas.